In this video, you're going to learn how to get anyone's IP address very easily. Welcome to this video and make sure to subscribe, it won't take more than a second. I'll be sharing the best content on cybersecurity and hacking in the future, as long as YouTube doesn't take down my videos. With that said, let's get started. The method you'll learn today involves sending a simple email. When the recipient opens your email, you'll instantly receive their IP address, along with details about their browser and operating system. This information can help you gather more details about the person behind the email. Additionally, once you have the IP address, you can check online to see if it has been leaked in any data breaches. If it has, you might find accounts associated with it on various websites. This topic will be covered in a future video. So if you're interested, let me know in the comments and subscribe to stay updated. So here we have what Canary Tokens are. If you guys aren't familiar with Canary Tokens, that's fine. Think of them as little breadcrumbs placed around your network, on a web server, or anywhere on the internet. For example, I can create a URL, put it out there, and see who clicks on it. Once someone clicks, we collect their information, IP address, location, and more. Why is this important? If you have multiple network segments, a NAS, client computers, a server, whatever your setup is, you can plant these canary tokens everywhere. Now, let's say an attacker stumbles upon something like W2-2023 or birth certificate.pdf. It looks like tax info or sensitive documents. They click on it thinking they'll get confidential data, but instead, they trigger an alert. Canary tokens act as a tripwire. They help you detect when someone is snooping where they shouldn't be. Honeypots versus Canary Tokens You might have heard of honeypots, fake, vulnerable-looking systems designed to attract attackers. When someone interacts with a honeypot, incident response teams get alerted. Canary Tokens work similarly, but are more lightweight. Instead of a whole system, you plant small, enticing traps, files, URLs, or even hidden network shares. Real-world scenario Let's say your network gets breached. An attacker will start hunting for valuable files social security numbers, passwords, HR data, salary details, etc. Most corporate environments have predictable server naming conventions. Attackers know this. They might unknowingly trigger a canary token planted inside a network share. Demonstration. Let's get hands-on. We'll create a canary token using a Word document. A simple but effective bait. You can also create Excel files, VPN configs, clone websites, QR codes, and more. For this demo, I'll create a Word document label. I'll place it in a folder named Don't Touch, because when you tell people not to touch something, they often do. Just like a kid who's told not to touch a hot stove. Now, when an attacker clicks on the document, thinking they'll get passwords, boom, they get punked, alert, and tracking. As soon as the document is opened, I receive an alert in my Gmail. White heavy check mark your canary token was triggered. The alert contains the attacker's IP address, the device used, e.g., Pat's PC, their approximate location. Now, I can check the Canary token management details to see the full history of interactions. For those who want to experiment, there's even a GitHub repository with Python scripts to customize and deploy your own Canary tokens. Wrapping up, that's it for this demo. Canary tokens are a quick, free, and effective way to detect breaches early. If you have questions, feel free to hit me up on Discord or drop a comment below. Oh, and stay tuned. Let's keep growing. If you ever want to join me on the channel, whether to talk security, tech, or just life, let me know. I'd love to have you on. Thanks again, and have an awesome day. Rocket.